If you still have these five things on your website, then a website is working against you. Over the past 15 years, we've helped over 3 million sites stay in their top shape. So you can trust us when we tell you that these are the top five things you should delete from your site today to improve its performance dramatically, to make your site clean, fast, and conversion ready. Let's dive in. Leftover plugin tables. All right, so take a look at this. I only have a few plugins installed on this site, right? But if we peek under the hood into the database, see all these tables? A lot of these are the leftover tables from the plugins I've uninstalled. Every time you try out a plugin, it creates its own table to store data. And sometimes they don't get deleted when you uninstall the plugin. I've seen databases with tons of these leftovers eating up several megabytes of server memory. So before starting anything, first make a secure backup. Blogworld is the most reliable and secure plugin. Once the backup is secured, install the WP Optimize plugin. WP Optimize has this specific section where you can see all the tables that are not associated with any currently active plugin. You'll see the names of the tables and often you can recognize the plugin they belong to. Scan and delete the unnecessary tables. Once again, be cautious and double check the tables before deleting them. If you're not sure, let it be and contact your maintenance provider for help. All right, the next big weight is the duplicate images. You see just one image here, right? But behind the scenes, WordPress is likely making multiple copies. A thumbnail, a medium size, a large size, all these different versions of the same image. These copies take up space and over time slow things down. You should control this before it creates trouble for you. So go to your WordPress dashboard, then hover over settings, then go to media. Do you see these? Thumbnail size, medium size and large size. Set all of these to zero and hit save. Now, WordPress won't create those extra images sizes anymore. But for existing duplicates, things get trickier. Some plugins like Media Cleaner claim to find and delete unused images. It scans your media library and tries to identify files that aren't linked to any posts or pages. It can be helpful, but isn't always accurate. So double check its suggestion before deleting anything. Most hosting providers offer a file manager within their control panel, like cPanel, or Plesk. Navigate to the public HTML folder and then look for WP content slash uploads directory. This is where WordPress stores your uploaded images. Look for files with the same name but different dimensions. These are likely the duplicate image sizes generated by WordPress. Carefully select the ones you don't need and hit delete. It's a bit of detective work but you'll avoid accidentally deleting important images. And again, always make a change with a backup in hand. Next, the PDF graveyard. There is no other way to say this. They are bad for your website. PDFs are hard to update. They are not good for user experience and often they're not even accessible. To make it worse, they don't play nice with analytics. They are not interactive and search engines hate them too. Meaning your search engine ranking suffers. So instead of uploading new PDFs, convert your PDFs to HTML using online converters. There are many free online tools that can convert PDFs to HTML. This makes the content accessible to search engines and improves the user experience. Also, check how many old PDFs are on your website. Just go to Google and type in this. That will show you all the PDFs Google has found. If you see a bunch, it might be time for some spring cleaning. Go through them and decide if they can be deleted or converted to web pages. Next, outdated hidden pages. Okay. Delete unnecessary blogs and pages. If a page isn't serving your audience or your goals anymore, don't just hide it by making it private or unpublishing it. Delete it. They are eating up the crawl budget. If it has some value and you're sure you're gonna need it, update it with fresh relevant content or use a 303 redirect to send visitors to a better page. A 303 redirect is a permanent redirect that tells search engines that the old page has moved to a new location. Finally, we have broken links. Basically, the links that don't work, but your website still has it. Like this one here. I click it and bam, 404 error page. It's annoying for visitors and makes your site seem unprofessional. They hurt your user experience too. So just get rid of them. Try this plugin. It has a built-in broken link checker. So install and activate the tool. It'll scan your whole site and give you a report kind of like this. You can see the broken URL here, what text is linked and where on your site the link is. Now, if you've got a massive website with tons of content, 
running these scans regularly can use up a lot of server resources, slowing things down for everyone. That is where the all-in-one SEO broken link checkers web service comes in. It's a better option than the plugin. This lets them handle the scanning on their servers. So your website speed does not get affected. And there you have it. Five things to remove from your website to make it faster and better for SEO. Let me know in the comments which of these changes made the biggest impact for you. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more website tips and tricks. See you next time. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.